Hello, welcome to the third video of project estimating and on this video I'm going to talk about effort, duration and money. So, first of all, effort estimates, what are they? Basically, there's two definitions that we need to know before we move on. One thing, especially when we're talking about estimates of time, one thing is duration. Duration is how much time a task will, will last. All right. So how much time a task will last? Oh, this task will last for five days. And this includes, for example, this includes just basically the work days. Duration, on the other hand, uh, sorry, effort, on the other hand, is how many hours of effort need to be put into this task. So, for example, if a task is eight hours of effort, then that means in terms of duration, this is one day because typically we work eight hours a day. So there is here some nuances that you need to understand. I typically use effort in hours or in days. And uh, so when you do it in days, it makes it easier to transform it into durations. But I will explain later on what you need to be careful to transform effort into durations. So effort is much easier to estimate than duration because with effort, there's going to be a couple, uh, you know, on average, how much time someone has to work on that uh, task in order to be completed. And if you don't know, you can ask experts and they can give you very good estimates. So effort is easier to do. And that's why we first start with effort, then we go to, to duration. Effort needs always to be translated into duration, otherwise you cannot schedule your tasks. And efforts are dependent upon a couple of things. What is the quality level you want from the task? So the higher the quality you want from that task, the more effort you have to put into it. And obviously, what is the completion point? In other words, when does the person know they should stop doing that task? Some tasks, you can work on them forever and improve, improve, improve. But what is the point where you should actually stop working on that task and moving to the next one? Those are the two things that will affect the amount of effort that you need on a task. So in order to translate them into durations, okay, um, here's a couple of things we need to, to start with. We start with the effort duration and then we ask ourselves three questions. Okay, so let's imagine that I say this task needs 100 hours to be done. Excellent. Question number one. Can this task be done by multiple people? If I have two people working on the um, on the task, then it's like in, in terms of duration, even though it's 100 hours of effort, but in duration it would just be 50 hours of effort. So let me give you an example. If I have a task that takes four days to be done, all right, but I have two people working on it, the effort is four days, but the duration would be two days because it's those four days divided by two. Second question you have to ask is, what is the normal productivity of this individual or of the individual is working in the task? Obviously, there's many different types of people and even we are different in terms of productivity in different projects or in different tasks. So what we have to understand is who is the people that we have? Some people are more productive, other people are less productive. So when we translate from, the, from a, a, a effort to duration, we have to account for productivity. If we know this individual is less productive on this type of task, then in terms of duration, you might have to increase the duration as compared with someone that is more productive. And finally, can some of these tasks be unattended? I always like to give the example, if someone has to paint a wall, all right, you have to wait for the, the paint to dry. That does not mean the painter has to stay there and look at the paint dry. Okay, some tasks can be unattended and therefore you have to include duration, but you don't put effort into them. So then you estimate your answers, estimate your duration upon the answers that uh, you gave to these three questions and that's it. Okay, and one last thing before we move on, don't forget holidays and don't forget weekends. People don't work during the weekend. So if you have a task that starts on a, for example, you have a task that would start on a Friday and the duration is two days, uh, sorry, the, the effort is two days, then that means this person would finish it by Monday evening. In other words, would be ready by Tuesday morning, probably. So even though the duration, the, the, the duration here would have to account for the weekend. So your effort would be two days of work, but your duration would actually be four days. Money estimates are similar here, but money estimates, uh, they come from effort estimates. We have to calculate how much the labor cost actually costs for this project. So we start with the effort estimates, okay, and we're going to convert them into money. So first of all, we start with how many hours each task needs. Then we determine the direct labor cost for that task. How do we do that? Well, you know how many hours they have worked and then you just multiply with the average hourly salary of that group of people. Typically, if you have a project management, you have access uh, to know their salaries or at least to know on average how much they make. 
Then after that is done, you have any overhead, uh, personal related expenses. Some tasks might relate it, might need travel or special training or, or, or any costs that are needed, but it's not directly labor cost. And you add that on top. And finally, you add any things that you had to purchase for that task. And that's how you calculate the cost of one task. So to summarize, we see that effort, duration, and the cost estimates are all related. The first thing you need to do is calculate how much effort the task needs, convert it into duration, and then convert that effort as well into a cost for that task. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions on the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video of this mini-series.